To start off, we'll create a videos folder, an ID folder in square brackets to create a dynamic route segment, and we'll create a page file. Then we'll create an interface for the video object. We'll create an async function called video detail, and we'll get the ID in the params prop. We'll fetch the data from an API. We'll create a link to go back to the home page. We'll display video title, video date, video author, the number of views, description of the video, and an iframe with a YouTube link and the title of the video. To verify it's working, let's click at one of the links and we end up on a video detail screen. We can now build and run the project and we'll see that the cache for fetch request is going to behave differently for static route segments, that's our home page, and dynamic route segments, that's our video detail pages. You can see again that when I visit the home page, no requests are being fired as everything is fetched and cached during build time. But when I visit one of the video detail pages, there is a request fired as there is no server cache by default for dynamic route segments. However, for content that doesn't change very frequently, we would like to introduce caching to reduce the load on API and increase the speed of the application. Luckily for us, Next.js has a solution for this, and that's a generate static params function, which is kind of similar to get static paths in pages directory. This function returns an array of values which Next.js feeds into the params prop while building the pages. So what we're gonna do in our code is we're gonna include the generate static params function, we're gonna fetch all the videos from the API, and we're gonna return an array of objects with IDs of the videos that are gonna be used to populate the params prop. So when we now build the app, Next.js is going to iterate over the IDs that we return. So for video number one, Next.js is going to fire a request to an API. It's gonna receive a response and it's gonna store it in the cache. And the same goes for video number two and all the IDs that we returned. Consequently, when a user visits the video detail page, they're gonna be served directly from the cache without hitting the API. And we can verify the statement by looking into the server logs. Next up, we've got the not found and redirect functions. And then we're gonna look into how we can personalize data based on your locale using headers and store information in cookies. So definitely stay tuned.